we're always taking in the world as we're moving around in it and, and little details can be something that sparks a, an interesting yeah. thought or an idea. That becomes a springboard to just testing and trying and doing something. There's a moment in the design process that one of us feels like they hate it and the other one feels like they love it. And it's actually the opposite times. So Joel's happy when, when an idea is sparked and I'm more happy when, uh, when it's finalised to the perfect uh, yeah. detail. Our combination works really well like yeah. that together. For us, I mean, a big part of design is decision making. Every step along the way, you're taking a decision whether you realise it or not. Comfort, uh, vision, uh, image, all of those things come together. Uh, Leolux is a very interesting company. The deeper you dig, the more interesting that becomes. They're not just going for the simple quick answer. They're interested in quality, they're interested in craftsmanship, they're interested in new ideas and I think that's good. We're really trying to reach the senses a lot. That's what's interesting to us so that's what we try to evoke with our work for others to also appreciate. Our vision for um, Leolux moving forward in the future would be that we're going to focus more on a contemporary uh, character and expression coming out of the brand as well as delving back into the heritage of the brand so we might see some of those older pieces coming through as well as putting a spotlight on Dutch design in a contemporary way. I think we're going to take small and big steps uh, at the same time. We recently just did a photo shoot for Leolux and that was um, yeah, really interesting to be able to take something that's been known in one way and then presented in a different way and, and in a different light. And I think that's when you see then how different layer locks will be because we were using their furniture that you understood in one way, but we were using it in our way and it looked completely different. I think the end product for us is usually focused on um, some kind of interaction that you will have with the furniture, something that's really magical in a way. How is that object interacting with, with you? If it's expressing itself in the way that you hope, that's very satisfying. Mm. Mm. To be able to communicate that and share that with the world is, I mm. think, what drives us. Mm.